Hello everybody, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Ehud Almon. Uh, I'm the co-founder and uh, CEO of uh, Tendomend. Uh, Tendomend, we are uh, uh, developing a medical surgery device uh, for treating uh, tendon rupture. The first uh, application or indication is for hand tendon uh, rupture. I'm a, a serial Israeli entrepreneur uh, that manage uh, public and uh, private uh, startup, mainly in the medical devices area. And all this started uh, since I'm for the last year spending my time between Greece and Israel. So I met uh, a leading Greek orthopedic uh, surgeon, uh, Dr. Valavanis, that he, he was the head of uh, orthopedic department in a trauma hospital in Athens. And he developed a, a new suturing technique uh, for uh, treating uh, uh, tendon rupture. So uh, I offer him to team up and uh, since the ecosystem during uh, at that time, uh, to, uh, 2018, was not so much developed in Greece to uh, move uh, the idea to Israel. And uh, we moved the idea to Israel. I brought in, into the company a senior uh, engineer, which I know from uh, the past, uh, Dr. Yuval uh, Shazifi and uh, Kobe, Kobe Blank. And uh, with that, uh, we uh, founded uh, the company. We raised the first uh, pre-seed uh, funding from uh, Israel <coughs> Medical Incubator, uh, NGT, with the support of the Israeli Authority Innovation uh, for the first 24 months. And this is how we started. So the problem uh, of hand tendon repair it's actually uh, managed for uh, decades by, by suturing. There is no any standard technique, and uh, there are a high percentage of complications and revision surgery. The reason for that, because uh, on one hand, post-op, uh, it's required to start uh, early active motion or rehabilitation as soon as possible to avoid adhesion, because the tendons, hand tendons, are uh, gliding through uh, uh, tunnel sheets, or it's called pulleys, and uh, if it's not started earlier, so uh, there will be adhesion, and uh, uh, there will be limitation of the, of the movements of the fingers. On the other hand, if it's uh, too early, so we are, or the patient is exposed for re-rupture. So uh, to, actually we decided to concentrate uh, as the first indication on uh, uh, the hand tendons, uh, because two cells of the hands uh, of the tendon rupture are uh, occurring in the hands. And it's uh, the most uh, complicated ones, even a uh, zone two of the hands it's a, a, it's a name as a, the no man lens because it's so hard, so difficult, difficult to, uh, to treat. And the, the treatment is mainly done by, by, a, a, by a, a, top, a top expert or a top surgeon and require long le learning curve. So this, uh, this uh, procedure today engage with 25% uh, of unsatisfactory results, complication, 7% uh, of uh, revision sur surgery, which is uh, considered as very high as, uh, and remains unmet need in, uh, in this uh, area. So what is our solution? I'll share with you, with you a, a video. New Horizon in tendon repair surgery. The innovative dynamic tendon grip medical device developed by the orthopedic startup Tendomend replaces conventional suturing, minimizing the high prevalence of complications associated with tendon surgery. The DTG device kit is comprised of innovative knots array, an ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene suture implant with a dedicated innovative applicator and two tendon holders. 
The implant establishes a grip based on an external embrace of the entire tendon, enabling controlled, accurate approximation and alignment between the two torn tendon stumps. The first tendon holder is used to grip the end of the proximal tendon stump. Once gripped, the segment is drawn into the applicator and the implant is deployed, embracing the stump edge at a distance of 5 to 10 millimeters as chosen by the surgeon. The proximal stump is then released from the tendon holder. The distal tendon stump is then treated with the distal tendon holder and applicator in a similar manner to the proximal. The two tendon segments are then connected using a unique soft join, the whoopee locking mechanism. Once connected, the implant sling tighteners are pulled, drawing the two tendon segments together in a rapid, highly controlled and accurate manner, allowing preload of force, fine tuning and precise alignment. This results in a robust connection between the stumps with a low profile and smooth tendon surface that enables superior gliding through the pulleys. The deployment of the DTG implant restores the full range of motion with minimal complication. Okay, so uh, it should be mentioned also that uh, the tendon holders and the implants, and our implants is uh, made out of sophisticated uh, and, uh, suture knots array or knotless uh, array. And uh, uh, the, uh, uh, these are disposable and uh, the applicator is reusable. So we, we have, uh, we perform a preclinical uh, trial in the animal model for hand tendon rupture. It's a turkey model. Uh, you can see here on the, the right hand uh, our uh, implant and uh, the very uh, well uh, 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 connection or attachment between the two tendon uh, stamp. It's a follow-up uh, of uh, four, uh, four weeks uh, post-op. Um, and uh, actually in a pathological uh, examination, we, we have shown better uh, vascularization compared between, between our implant and uh, the uh, suture and, uh, uh, suture and uh, uh, solution. We perform also uh, uh, cadavers uh, trials both in uh, Israel and the US. And uh, it's a well-known uh, uh, model of uh, one kilo, uh, kilogram weight and uh, 2,000 cycle of uh, closing and opening the, the fingers. And uh, 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 the results, comparing our implant and the, the suturing, uh, we, we got a better gap because if there is more than two millimeter gaps between the two stems, so there is no uh, way for the connective uh, tissue to build, it's only time, uh, a matter of time to have a re-rupture. So we have also better range of motion of the finger, and uh, our, uh, the lot to fellow uh, of uh, our implant, it's two times, f uh, having two times force uh, then uh, the suture, and so it's uh, close to 80 newtons compared comparing to 40 newtons of, uh, of suturing. Uh, we have a, a broadened uh, family portfolio of four uh, patent families. The first one already uh, granted in both the US and uh, in Europe. The re uh, our uh, regulatory pass, uh, based on a thorough uh, review that done by, by our uh, uh, US consultants, uh, is a 510K cl class two, and uh, uh, without uh, the need to submit a clinical trial. I'm going to uh, pass about the competition. So there are two, two products, it's uh, Pontis that uh, obtained FDA approval to, uh, 2014. It's a wire made out of metals. And then a, a, another product came out from a, a US startup com company, Connection TR. It's a kind of stapler also made out of metals. 
the best, uh, the, one of the major benefits of our device is that it's made out of uh, suturing. It's allowed the uh, surgeon to have perfect alignment between the two stems, and uh, it's having low profile to allow smooth gliding through the, through the pulleys. About the, the market potential, there are uh, close to one million uh, tendon rupture uh, cases, hand tendon rupture cases, more than uh, an additional 350,000 cases of other tendon uh, ruptures. So we are speaking only for uh, the first indication about one billion uh, US dollar uh, uh, total available market. We believe that the serviceable available market is uh, more than half a billion US dollar. And uh, according to our conservative uh, forecast, we'll reach uh, 50 million US dollar revenues by 2029. So uh, where we are on our uh, roadmap, so following the incubator period, we raise uh, 1 million US dollar uh, as a safe investment. Uh, one of the investors, it's uh, the biggest or the largest uh, private uh, orthopedic uh, uh, body in the, U in the U.S. It's called the Center of Advanced Orthopedics. So the uh, co-founder and two-hand surgeon invested the uh, pre-seed money in the, the company. And uh, actually, we, now we are rais raising a bridge funding of one million U.S. dollar to take uh, the company into the clinical trial phase in Israel with 10 patients and uh, uh, proceeding with the FDA clearance by the end of, uh, of next year. So we are very proud of uh, our uh, medical advisory board. We have uh, in the US Professor Boyer from Washington University, Professor Chang from uh, Stanford. They are uh, two ex-president uh, of the American Society for Hand Surgery. And uh, we have also key opinion leaders from Europe and from uh, Israel. So what, what we have uh, now, what are the assets that we currently have? We have uh, uh, the innovative uh, device, it's a technology platform, a proof of concept in preclinical and cadaver trials, strong IP, experienced uh, med medical device team. We have a publication in a leading uh, uh, orthopedic journal, and we initiate discussion with uh, multinational orthopedic companies that have shown a great interest uh, in the field because there are not too many innovation in the field of soft uh, orthopedic uh, tissues. So this is what uh, we are seeking now, uh, one million US dollar as a bridge funding. We, uh, we already secure 300K and, uh, and uh, that's it. So, I'll be pleased if anybody has an interest so to, to discuss it uh, later on uh, during the day. So sorry to, to be a little bit longer, so thank you very much.